Hi, my name is Kelly Jones. I am the CEO and founder of Forward Life Coaching. Forward Life Coaching helps individuals motivate beyond the impasses that they are facing in life. So the creative impasses, the uncertainty, helping them to understand their strengths, their skills, their interests, um, just the things that they bring to the table to help help them cross the finish lines of of various milestones on the way to their ultimate goal. So um, the uniqueness about our product is that we have, uh, I, have a, I work with a team of individuals who have a very eclectic background. Uh, one is a former WNBA player. Another one is a mother of a 35 year old autistic person with autism. Another one is a former C senior VP of operations for um, Coca-Cola. I am the uh, I'm a survivor of a cerebral aneurysm and a uh, an author of two books and also a um, the, uh, survivor of a 19 year abusive marriage. So with our eclectic backgrounds, um, I'm sorry. And then uh, Janet Cohen, she is a author of a uh, co-author of a mental health book and also uh, working with a Broadway play to. Um, to discuss uh, the issues of mental health. So basically, once again, like I said, we have a huge collaborative of uh, individuals individuals working together. So um, I I have faulty equipment. <laughs> so as you can see, the picture is probably not as clear as it could be. And one of the uh, things that we need to do is we need to pre create vlogs to develop a uh, stronger relationship with the community and, uh, and increase that trust factor. And then number two is we need to do podcasts. So originally our goal was to work with our neuroscientist um, and his collaborative team in Baltimore to create technology to, to, to uh, ascertain the onset escalation and de-escalation of anxiety to make sure that individuals are able to go beyond their current uh, state. But with COVID, we realize that we can't help people go beyond when they're not even ready to go beyond. So the focus is now on readiness. It's a wraparound service program. And once again, the program is called Forward for Life Coaching. So I am a, a strategist life coach. And what I do is I work with individuals who have a goal, a vision, you know, uh, something very loosely fit, which they are trying to move forward in. And uh, once again, excuse me, because they may not have all the aspects of it or the components of it, we help them to understand the strengths that they that they have within themselves. Well, uh, working within the African-American community and all communities, but specifically the African-American community, uh, many persons are adverse to receiving, uh, to working with clinicians. Of course, a therapist, uh, therapist, uh, uh, psychologists, etc. They have to provide a diagnosis if they are going to continue treatment and therapy. So a lot of African Americans do not want to get that diagnosis to continue in treatment because they realize or understand that this could also impact them long term. Uh, in my research and my studies with other individuals and other ethnic groups and other um, and in in high high socioeconomic status, they have coaches and coaches can provide. Um, a similar service to a therapist, what they do is, what I do is we look at where you are here today and how you can move forward. I don't dove into the past. I don't dove into trying to correct what's in the past. I dove into making sure that you understand that you are good as you are. Your decisions are great. If you made a decision that you're not happy with, it's because you made it based on the information that you had at that time. And you may not have had all the information or all the facts. So once again, we are good people. We make good, we have good ideas. And how do we move forward in that goodness to help more people? So realizing that there is a world uh, or a community of people out there that are using life coaches and excelling with it and um, kind of bypassing in some ways the therapeutic, the, the psychologist and therapeutic therap therapist um, when it's it, when it may not be needed, uh, I would like to provide that service and that opportunity also to the African-American community. I am not a clinician. I cannot diagnose, but I am a certified um, domestic violence awareness speaker. I have spoken to suicide hotlines. I have spoken to, um, I'm sorry, work with suicide hotlines. Oh, and substance abuse counselors. So working with a myriad of people to ensure that once again, individuals are getting the services that they need. So um, what are the challenges? Once again, the challenges right now are primarily for us are technology and marketing because we spent so much time marketing to the science community until now we need, need to backtrack and start uh, advertising to the community in general. So we have the resources, we have the people we just don't necessarily have the technology savvy because we did not have to um, work in a commercialized environment. We were actually working in a research environment. So with that in mind, um, whatever assistance you can provide to help us with getting the word out there, um, the the clips that you had mentioned, the 30-second uh, clips, the um, 
the computer, because you can see my computer is a little fuzzy, the uh, camera for um, vlogs, and um, I'm sorry, for YouTubing uh, podcasts so that, you know, people can have the camera image as well. You know, some people are video, I mean, uh, visual, some people are audio, some people are kinetic learners, depending on their learning style. Um, to help them to retain the content as best as possible. So um, the camera, microphone system, that would be the microphone and the headphones, um, and of course, laptop and monitor. So those are the things that I can think of that are most needed. Um, also with the podcast, if you're doing this with marketing, I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I need an intro and an outro, and I'm trying to figure out how to do the music and all that other kind of stuff. But once again, um, this kind of technical stuff is not in my wheelhouse and my colleagues is not really in their wheelhouse because once again, we are more um, application hands-on um, type of stuff. So I thank you so much for just hearing my video. I won most talkative in high school. Um, so sometimes I can make a short story long and I apologize if this was lengthy, but once again, we are just very, very grateful for the opportunity for you to hear, um, uh, hear our interests. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay, how do I cut this off? Uh,